Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo where we have our rather humble beginning but you know what it ain't too bad we're actually turning a decent profit which is a lot more than I could have asked for. Uh, sometimes it can be really hard to start off with these things. So today kind of my goals for today are to uh, get in at least one more species if not two I'm going to probably put one over here and uh, what I also want to do is build a staff center over here. And you know what we should actually do? We should start to have mechanic research the... Where are they? Um, the staff facilities here. Let's go ahead and have our mechanic do that. Because I want to unlock the larger keeper hut. I think that'll be a good thing. And I think the animal that I'm going to put in today, I think, will be the... Um, if we look, not in the quarantine, if we look here, I guess I can just click here. And uh, if we look, we've got these African buffalo. And I think I'm going to send all of them to the uh, quarantine. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll move them. Sometimes it doesn't respond the greatest to my clicks. I don't really know why. Uh, it's just a little bit... Uh, a little bit funky right now, so let's go ahead, we'll move this. Oh yeah, I think you can actually transfer animals between your zoos in this, if I'm not mistaken, because you can see it says the wild taiga. Also, uh, right now, I'm actually recording these episodes pretty close together, don't worry. Uh, I will catch up with all with all y'all's feedback in a little bit here. I just kind of wanted, <laughs> wanted to um, get going on this and get a, a few episodes done so I'll be back to talk about feedback and such not soon, but I want to get moving on this exhibit and I'm actually going to link up. So what, what's currently the aardvark zone, I'm going to link that to the buffalo exhibit instead. And then what we'll do is we'll actually build a staff area back here, but I want to have a larger keeper hut because I kind of think we're going to need more keepers back in this area. Otherwise, we're going to have a little bit of a problem if we're not careful. So I think what I'm going to do... Why won't it let me place? Oh, it's because the oh, it's because of the the shelter back there. I see. Um, let's not snap alongside barriers. Okay, it, I'm gonna have to move that shelter probably. <laughs> we'll see. But I will build back there in a little bit, and I'll probably build in some more customized shelters too. I think. Um, we're up to $15,000, so that's a very good thing starting off with, and we've earned quite a lot for our aardvark. We've earned... Uh oh Why does that one say zero? I think so. I think periodically it might refresh or something. Or maybe I moved it and it refreshed or something. <laughs> but sometimes it doesn't always continue to show, or it'll reset. But I think... So are these guys... Nobody's cleared quarantine just yet, I don't think. Because we'll have to, we want to make sure that none of them are sick. Uh, that's going to be the really big thing. But after this, okay, quarantine passed, ready to leave. Um, let's make sure that all of them pass and that nobody's sick. Or if anybody is sick, we need to get them to the surgery. And then once that's happened, I'll go ahead and uh, start building. I want to kind of keep it as a narrow exhibit too. Like I think what we have with the aardvark works really well because the guests can see them pretty well, if I'm not mistaken. So like I don't see, yeah, I see them liking. Oh, good, they all they all passed. I see them liking the aardvarks and the view there. You can see that uh, they they can see them pretty well. It seems like, and all of them passed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the exhibit here. But I want to kind of try to keep them. Kind of, kind of tied along here, possibly, so that it's easier for the guests to actually have good visibility. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and build that exhibit, and I'll see y'all in a little bit.
Whew, that turned out to be a bit more of a project than I thought it would be. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead and get all the buffaloes out of the quarantine, and then I'll talk about well, well, they're on their way to the exhibit. Then I'll talk about uh, what what I just did. So let's go ahead. We'll select all these guys. Oops, I want all of them, and let's put them here. So hopefully that that got all of them. I selected one afterwards. I don't know if that'll still count. But uh, I spent a lot of money doing this, and I think it should finally be big enough. I want to add, so I added a water thing back here because I want to add an actual water feature, and then I got an additional mechanic shop and uh, a keeper hut as well because I want to make sure that uh, <laughs> I want to make sure that they've got a good uh, ability to deal with uh, the animals over here, basically. So let's see, we've got two of them. I'm gonna just go ahead and pause it. Yeah, <laughs> so that's gonna be the issue. Let's make sure we change these numbers here. So vet every three months, keeper every month. And then I'm gonna go ahead and toggle my work zones a little. So I didn't talk too much about this last time. And maybe I'll actually show that a little bit this time because let's go to, not this, not vet research, staff work zones. So aardvark keepers, so frontal vets, we're gonna edit this, we're gonna assign this as well. And I think that'll be good for this one. Let's create a new work zone. So basically these tell your employees where they're going to work. We're gonna need a new staff room probably pretty soon. Um, this will be buffalo keepers. And we'll make sure that stays named that. And then, um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll do Buffalo Maintenance. And uh, let's make sure we get a staff room in there. And then these will all be assigned maintenance as well as this exhibit. And I think that's mostly what we need to do for now. Uh, let's also make sure we take a look at our heat map and we'll look at animal welfare. Welfare habitat because there's nowhere they can get out. Okay, that's great then. Uh, I built this building over here because I'm going to start putting a food area in. By the time the guests get over to that point, they're probably going to be just a little bit hungry. So it would make sense that we do that. Okay, let's look at the African buffalo rather than the aardvark um, and see what we've got. Okay, we can get a barrel feeder. That will help. And we'll go ahead and do this. They're going to need shelter, that's for sure. Let's look at... So their welfare is kind of low. Does that help with their enrichment? That did help. All right. They need... Oh, they do actually need a water area. I hadn't realized that. Okay, then. <laughs> so let's um, go ahead and put some of that in. So we can do that just by... Um, probably sculpting would be the best way to do this. Okay, we got a lot of water there, and that should be in an area that's going to get cleaned. Uh, how often is it going to get cleaned, actually? Or how often does this thing get checked? It doesn't... A oh, routine visits every six months. Usually when you leave it on default, it gets to be problematic. So let's take a look at the water map, because this should show... Yeah, that'll be fine then. Um, which actually works out beautifully that we put it in there. Uh, let's see what else these guys need because I would imagine... Oh, I didn't actually realize that uh, there's a good appeal stamp there. Um, Caribou moss. Let's remove that. That was poking in from outside, I think. So they need more hard shelter. They need... Pa or they need um, more short grass, less tall grass. Well, or not necessarily less tall grass, but... That's probably what, what we should remove because it was kind of on the high side. Um, kind of paint some of this in. Give it a little bit of dirt there. And then plant-wise, there's enough plants. We could get some tropical plants again. So it's Africa. Once again, it's going to be kind of the same thing. So Africa, tropical, and grassland. Very much the same biomes. So let's put a little bit of elephant grass in at the back. I'll, I'll kind of use it maybe to disguise that area, I think. And we'll put some in the corners here. Uh, coastal mangrove, we could put some of those around the water area, possibly. Let's put a few of these in as well. And then I'll just kind of make it a little less sparse, but still be within the range of that. Um, 
And then I think we just need the food and shelter. Shelter is important as well. So let's get a large food trough, put that in, put a couple of these in, and they should be able to drink the water, I think. And then we would need some of the shelter here. So this is a large one. Let's put this back here and see if that'll provide them enough shelter. Maybe at some point I will try I, I want to try and build some shelters as well, but right now I'm more established, or I'm more concerned with getting a functioning zoo. <laughs> um, uh-oh. Keeper cannot reach habitat. Oh, because I need, um, I need to put, I need to actually get a keeper and a mechanic for that. That's right. I made the zones and then didn't assign any of them. Speaking of animals, we should look at the, uh, possible mate options here. So, that's actually pretty decent. So, Bayo is a good potential mother. Actually, Namomo, uh, Namono is actually even better. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep Bayo from having babies because we do want to try and improve our genetics as much as we can. Okay, how are these guys feeling about their habitat? Oh, good, they do have enough space. I was a little worried they were going to be finicky about that, but I don't think they are. All right, oh, the aardvarks are about to have, well, not about to have a baby, but hopefully she'll be pregnant soon. Let's put in, there's people hanging out over here. Let's put in, um, oh no, I just saw it, a donation bin right over here because if people are going to be chilling out in this area, we kind of want that. And this area will work with more soon. We just kind of kind of let our cash come back a little bit. Let's look at the Aldabra giant tortoises again. If we look, we probably can't compare mates, but I'm going to actually adopt this one because we look, oops, I don't want to move. Don't want to move. I want to look here because we look, we've got, yeah. Now, the issue right now <laughs> uh, with the Aldebra giant tortoises that I've seen is that they breed rapidly and grow slowly, so I really want to restrict it to just one male and one female. Otherwise, we are going to have a problem. <laughs> so uh, either that or we could get probably more females and then just make sure they can't have any, have any babies. Um, make sure we block that. But otherwise, I think these guys are all doing pretty well. Um, the nutrition is a little bit down. Temperature, oh, the current temperature is dropping. Okay, what do you need your temperature to be? Because this might affect the aardvarks too. Um, actually, why am I looking there? So it would be 16 to 40, 16 to 40. These guys both need the same temperature. It's 12. Oh no. Okay. So we need to make sure we get some heaters in there then. I'm going to put a heater because I think with the, uh, with this particular zoo, the best way of doing this, or with the, with the tag, with the taiga, I mean, the best way of doing this is going to be to try and cover as much as we can. Oh, let's, and let's set it to 24 is probably fine because it will get cold. It will get very cold if we're not careful here. We'll see how that does and then I'm going to place at least one in here too uh, just to make sure. In fact, I'll probably go over here and over here and then we'll kind of watch that temperature map just to make sure uh, that it's not uh, going to be an issue and then we'll kind of because I don't want the I don't want the guests getting too hot either is my issue. So let's watch on the on the heat map, the actual heat map here. If we look at temperature, you'll see that start to go up even as the rest of the temperature drops. So we just want to make sure then that all of this, let's shrink up that range and make sure that it's not going to be too big. And we'll go there. Ooh, my, it's minus three. This is definitely a taiga. All right, let's see. Range six, should that do it? Maybe a little bit more. I think we need one more here to make sure that the aardvarks don't get too cold, but I will reduce the range on it so our guests don't get too hot. Although I can't imagine they would complain too much about being just a little bit on the warmer side. All right, just like that'll be good, actually. That's about perfect. And I think, you know, holy smokes, it's actually snowing and very dark. Holy cow. 
All right, we gotta place some lights in. And I did put in some signs for the uh, donations on this exhibit again. So once more, if you do join the Patreon and would like to sponsor the uh, Buffalo exhibit, that will be one of the options. And you can have your name on one of those signs for one of the tiers if you guys do want that. Uh, and there's always a link to the Patreon in the video description. Good gracious, I didn't expect it to snow this much. Wow, all right. Um, it is a very, very snowy, blizzardy night. What have we got here? Vet research is complete. So we're working on those aardvarks now. Let's, uh... Let's see what we got over here, because I wanted to take a look at... Where are they even? And is our female actually pregnant? I don't think she is. Um, snow. She's not too happy about the snow, but it's not too bad, so I don't think I'll worry too much about it. The snow is actually a really nice indicator while it's here of where it's too cold and where it's not. So that's a good thing to see. Oh, what? Is there crime? Is there crime here? Hold on. Are people being a are people being little criminals? If I see here, I think there's a crime map. No, it's just telling me I don't have security guards. It's not telling me people be thieving or anything. <laughs> all right. So, oh yeah, that's all the enrichment we have. Let's look at the aardvark. Have we unlocked new things for that one? Aardvark. We have. Let's kind of um you can give them a forage box. That could be both fun and, um, why is it not wanting to place? Oh, we can place it over here. That would work. There we go. Yeah, I know there's no security guards. We haven't needed them. I'm not spending monies on that right now because we haven't needed it. Um, I'm gonna temporarily actually clear out this path. Um... And we'll see if I can better get this uh, staff path to join up now. No. What is the issue with this? Let's see if I can kind of replace that path maybe. Because something about it no worky. <laughs> uh, it's going to go like that. Now if I... Maybe it's because of the uh, barrier right there. Oh no, now it works. Now it works a little bit better, right? Yeah, that's... No, that didn't work so well. Can't find an accessible staff room with space. Uh-oh. Uh, this might be the issues I was concerned about. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, yeah. It just needed a little tweaking. All right. Oh, boy. All right. Boy, howdy. Let's look at what we've got. Because everybody is upset about the staff room issue. Which is true. We only have one. Um, hmm. I could technically... You know what I can do... I could actually tweak this a little bit, so I'll just pull the roof off this building here. Um, pull the top off here. We'll actually put another staff room here. And maybe I'll actually kind of reorganize them a little bit, because I think if I do this, I'm going to have to clear away some of those trees probably. And we'll probably have to redo some of the... Um, we might have to redo some of the uh, decorations and things, but let's look here... Go to paths, go to align to grid. We can go right here. I'm gonna go up and I'll just go there for now. I'm gonna deselect. Deselect, let me deselect, please. No. Alright, go away there. Um, I do want it to angle snap so that I can do that. Let's why you don't like this. Did that fix it? <gasps> it did. Perfect. All right, that's a lot better. And then what I'll do is clear this out, and we'll actually place a staff room right up here. So you can plunk things down on top of other things if we go to staff facilities. I want to unlock, eventually you can unlock a bigger staff room, but for now this is probably the easier way of doing things. And then we'll just kind of cover this up in a way to make it look a little bit less ugly. Yeah, no, that is the important one. I thought it was bugging me for half a second about the, um, just the, the security issue. And I was going to say, but why do you need guards if there's no crime? <laughs> I can't, I can't pay for that yet. If people start stealing stuff, then, then I'll pay for it. But you know what? Maybe, yeah, I don't think... That's the most critical thing on my on my list right now. <laughs> so let's go up here. 
and we'll just plunk a roof down on this place. So we got, actually that's the right direction, plunk this here, plunk this here, and we'll go like this. And now we need to um, figure out the lower one, which I think I'll use this, whatever the roof that I used for uh, the other one, which I think is the one meter, or yeah, the one meter slope, I believe, oops. Hold on. Oh, wait. Nope. It did it for a second. There we go. And so I'll just put this trim on it. And we'll make sure we put the staff room sign up. But I also need to put the walls in place. And we'll just scoot this right here. And that should be a lot better. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. And I think now all we have to do is just assign this to a different thing. So what it'll probably do is... Hmm. I can assign different staff rooms different places because you can also get perks for them. And so this will help cut down on the fact that there's not enough staff rooms. But we might want to actually organize which staff rooms people be using. What perks can we get? Let's see. Staff health care, resilient against being overwork, ha gain happiness, the learn more about their jobs, security office, staff PR. Oh, that's vendors. And a rec room. Okay, um... I'm gonna give both of them healthcare, honestly, because I think that seems like a good thing. What's going on here? Oh, vet research is complete. They got more artwork stuff? Yeah, okay. So we'll have them research the um, buffalo in just a bit here too. But first things first, what I wanna do is we gotta reassign the work zones. So the aardvark keepers edit work zone. They're closer to this staff room. So I'm gonna have them go there. The buffalo keepers, however, are closer to that one, so it makes sense for them to stay there. Buffalo maintenance can stay there as well. Uh, frontal left maintenance is going to go to this one now. And frontal left vendors can go to this one. And frontal vets can pick and choose, I think. Alright, so that should be better. And that should deal with the staff room issues, and then we'll build some stuff back here. So I'm going to actually clear out this um, fidgety little path. Let's go over here. And we can see, I might, I'm going to try to do length. We'll do length like that, and then we'll see if I can get the staff path to connect. Yes, yes, okay. There we go. Important alert. Why do you keep bugging me. Oh, there's a VIP guest. Ah, so we can say hello and uh, it gives you conservation credits, which is cool. Why does it keep telling me your zoo has no security guards? I know! I, we haven't needed them. But yeah, so I think we're going to probably actually wrap this up here for today, though, because it is a little bit of a longer episode. We've made some really good headway, though, and uh, I, I'm excited for this. I like how this is going thus far. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. So next time, I wanted to build this one this time, but I think we'll have to build it next time. We'll build the staff center over here and get that situated for the aardvark exhibit. Oh, is she going to have babies this time, actually? Uh, I really don't know. But um, we'll kind of build the staff center back here. And the nice thing is, we, so if you look at our heat map, uh, the reason the staff centers are away from the guests is because you can see they have this zone of negative impact. The guests don't want to have to deal with that. And so um, if you put it behind an exhibit, the animals don't care. The animals don't care about it. And so this would keep it well out of the way of the guests. But I'll probably put a larger keeper hut back here if we can unlock that. Um, oh, we might have African buffalo babies too. Perhaps um, I'm gonna call mechanic because the barrier is getting a little bit low. And let's look at the animals. Oh, she's gonna have babies. Oh yeah, they're gonna have babies. We're gonna have some babies, guys. Finally, that's pretty exciting. And we are starting to gain back some things. Okay, we got four hundred dollars there. Four hundred dollars there. I think this must have just refreshed or something. This one's getting no donations, and this one is getting no donations too. Okay, so we'll figure things out, I think. But I, we're going to start building a food court over here. We're going to start building a staff center back here. What I wanted to check was the mechanic research because we've got, we're almost to, almost to this one, which the large keeper hut is going to be really good. Um, what else could we start researching though? 
Um, we might want to research. I'm gonna research. I'm gonna have the other mechanic research barriers because the barriers will let you get a one-way glass, which is where you can see in but not out, and that helps you a lot with your animals that want more privacy because you can let the guests get really close to their sleeping area or whatnot. But the animals won't really notice it and won't be bothered by their presence. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.